our job is to pursue justice without fear or favor. Our job is not to do what is politically convenient. Our job is not to take orders from the President, from Congress, or from anyone else about who or what to criminally investigate. As the President himself has said, and I reaffirm today, I am not the President's lawyer. I will add, I am not Congress's prosecutor. The Justice Department works for the American people. Today, in a hearing with the Attorney General of the United States, Jim Jordan boldly and perhaps proudly demonstrated just how astonishingly stupid he thinks Republican voters are. Everything they asked him to do, he did. And then what's the Justice Department do? August 8th, last year, they raid President Trump's home. Jim Jordan firmly and confidently believes that Republican voters are so unrelentingly stupid and so sealed off from reality that they have no idea that Donald Trump repeatedly refused to do everything that the government politely asked him to do for a year before Justice Department prosecutors ever got involved in trying to force Donald Trump to return to the government, classified documents and other government documents Donald Trump knowingly and illegally had in his possession. Jim Jordan is convinced that he and Donald Trump and Republican members of the House have done such a good job of lying to Republican voters that Jim Jordan can now tell any lie he wants about the investigation of Donald Trump or the investigation of Hunter Biden. In the House Judiciary Committee today, Republicans, as usual, lied nonstop and pretended to be angry with Attorney General Merrick Garland for refusing to do what any Attorney General would refuse to do, which is to say refuse to allow them to interfere with the current Justice Department criminal investigations. Our next guest provided the perfect perspective on what was happening in the committee when he made the most of his opportunity to speak. Mr. Attorney General, my colleague just said that you should be held in contempt of Congress. And that is quite rich, because the guy who's leaving the hearing room right now, Mr. Jordan, is about 500 days into evading his subpoena. About 500 days. So if we're going to talk about contempt of Congress, let's get real. I mean, are, are you serious that Jim Jordan, a witness to one of the greatest crimes ever committed in America, a crime where more prosecutions have occurred than any crime committed in America, refuses to help his country, and we're going to get lectured about subpoena compliance and contempt of Congress? Jim Jordan won't even honor a lawful subpoena? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's no credibility on that side. Mr. Attorney General, you are serious. They are not. You are decent, they are not. You are fair, they are not. So I welcome you to the law firm of Insurrection LLP, where they work every single day on behalf of one client, Donald Trump. And they do that at the expense of millions of Americans who need the government to stay open, who want their kids safe in their schools, and would like to see Ukraine stay in the fight so that we don't help Russia. That's the expense that this nonsense, this clown show, I'd call it a clown show, except they actually have real responsibilities that affect real Americans. It's the difference between one side that believes in governing and one side that believes in ruling. You've tried to comply with this committee. Joining us now is Congressman Eric Swalwell, a member of the House Judiciary Committee. He was an impeachment manager in the second impeachment trial of Donald Trump. And Congressman Swalwell, I can tell you, for people who were watching the entire hearing, um, I know they all wish they could reach out and thank you right now as they were clinging to their sanity, listening to this stuff uh, from the Republicans in this hearing today. Uh, Lawrence, it's 300 seconds, uh, as you know, is a you know expert uh, in your prior uh, career in the Congress. Uh, it's not a lot, and so I try to t take a 3D approach: uh, discredit, 
debunk and deliver, uh, make sure that they don't start with any credibility. And, and Jim Jordan has the least amount of credibility for his own subpoena noncompliance around January 6, that we debunk and push back any of the nonsense uh, that they've volleyed. And then, of course, always pivot to what we would deliver. And in the majority, uh, we wouldn't let the government shut down. Our kids would be safe in school and Ukraine would be uh, in the fight. But what this is really about, Lawrence, is they are really hurtling toward an impeachment of President Biden, which is really a continuation of the insurrection. Their insurrection failed. They've never accepted Joe Biden as the lawful president. And so now they want to impeach him, which is what they've always wanted to do. So they can never have credibility. They incited the insurrection. They rooted for the insurrection. When we impeached President Trump for the insurrection, they acquitted it. And now they go to January 6th uh, insurrectionists and visit them uh, and give them comfort at jail. So they can't have any credibility and we can never give them an inch on that uh, issue. You know, politicians uh, used to fear getting caught lying, not so much uh, because of some high-minded morality, but just because they were absolutely convinced they would be penalized by their voters if they got caught lying. Jim Jordan seems to think that his voters, his Ohio voters, are simply the stupidest voters that have ever been registered to vote in America, that he can tell them any lie at all, and they are so stupid and so uninformed, they will believe him. I have I've never seen a member of the House of Representatives insult his own voters more directly and relentlessly than Jim Jordan does. And, and Lawrence, what Jim Jordan tried to do today is not going to work. Donald Trump's best day was in November 2016, and he has been a loser ever since, even with this law firm that Jordan runs on his behalf. He lost uh, the House in 2018. He tried to use Joe Biden's son in the 2020 election, and he was impeached for trying to get dirt on Joe Biden's son. And then he tried to run an insurrection, and that failed. He lost in the midterms, where we beat all expectations. And so Donald Trump is a perennial loser. They have a loser for a client. He's underestimating Jim Jordan, uh, the knowledge of his voters, and the passion of his voters for the Constitution. And I have all the confidence in the world uh, that we are going in the right direction as we contrast competence on our side and chaos on theirs as we go to next November.